Welcome into the Coach Kevin Keithley Show. I'm Derek Forrest alongside the man who made me drive an hour to come to Pikeville to tape the show, Coach Kevin Keithley. Coach, how you doing? Good, Derek. I tell you what, it only took us three takes to get this that opening intro going, but we're here, we're ready to go in the coal mine. It's uh, Jim Frazier. Jim Frazier? Jim Frazier. Jim Frazier coined two years ago. We're here, we're ready to go, and we're live in living color here. <laughs> and Coach, you're obviously in a good mood because you came away with the W in your last home game on Sunday versus Albany. So I guess let's get into that. Let's talk about last weekend's game. And you guys, as we continue to talk about Sunday, you guys were able to redeem yourselves. Uh, you snap a four game losing streak and without getting into the final 10 seconds, because we'll get to that in a moment, just talk about how this team was able to fight back from trailing all game long. Yeah, um, we talked, we had a meeting after the ball game, Derek, in the locker room for about 30, 40 minutes. And, and we just really just had a heart to heart about hey, you know, this is unacceptable. Under any circumstances, we need to come out and play hard every second. Mm. And that's if we do that, we'll have a chance to be in it at the end of the ball game. And we talked about that. We said, hey, let's minimize errors. Let's take advantage of their mistakes. And again, let's play hard for 48 minutes. And we did that. And as long as you do that, opportunities will come along in a ball game to get back in it. A rebound off a missed free throw, offensive rebound, a putback, a dive on the floor for a loose ball, a steal in a key situation. Uh, those things that happen to give you a chance to win. And, and I tell you what, the fans were great in here. It wasn't as big a crowd the night before mm -hmm. as you was there as well, Derek. Uh, but the crowd was loud. They were into it, and it really gave us that little something extra, that little adrenaline. So everything coming together, if you work hard, you put yourself in a situation to uh, win ball games. You talk about the crowd. They finally got really loud, and I guess in the last three minutes when – uh, they realized that you guys had a chance to come back and, and get the victory. Um, so with that, let's talk about the final 10 seconds. If anyone missed it, there was a, a, base, a, you know, a game winning shot by Galen Young at the end of the game. But within 15 seconds left, you guys still had two fouls to give. Yeah. Um, what did you tell the guys in the huddle? Well, I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll credit uh, Brian Levy and uh, Brandon Paquin. Uh, they were on the, uh, Brent, and for folks, we, we mentioned Brian Levy. Uh, uh, from time to time on the show. They were the guys playing Madden last year. <laughs> yeah, they were the guys <laughs> on Cribs that were playing video games. But but they were, they were at, Ryan Levy's actually our, our director of operations. Brandon Paquin's our player personnel advisor. They actually sit not too far away from the bench, and they did an excellent job of letting me know we had a foul to give. That's the whole key to the ball game. And that's what I told uh, Brian uh, right after the ball game that, that's the key. That was the key because, again, I didn't have an assistant on the bench. I'm caught up in adjustments where we need to be. They let me know how many timeouts I had. They let me know that we had a foul to give. And uh, we let the guys know that we call it, we call a timeout. We were down one. And uh, we said, look, we got a foul to give. We want to foul immediately. And uh, we talked strategy from that point on. But uh, the key that we want to talk about was to say, hey, we don't want to just give them an inbound. We just don't mm. want to give them an opportunity to make an easy pass. If they make a sloppy pass, if they make an errant pass, let's go ahead and steal that ball. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and intercept that pass and try to get an easy one instead of putting them on the free throw line for two free throws. So, uh, again, whether or not what I said related to what happened with Galen Young, uh, Galen certainly anticipated an errant pass. And from there, Derek, hey, we went to work. But, again, it was a... Uh, uh, the situation, we put ourselves in a situation to win, and Albany, again, they made an error pass, we were ready to uh, uh, take care of business, and I'll tell you what, it's an exciting ball game to be here for the fans. I don't know how many uh, people have called or, or talked about, hey, that that was mm -hmm. that was a great showing by the Miners, especially after the way we played the night before. Real quickly, let's talk about that bad pass on the inbound. Uh, Galen had a handful of jersey. I don't know if you got a chance to yeah. see what actually happened yeah. there. Can you call like a pass interference uh, or something like that? I, I, so I heard. <laughs> so I heard that uh, Galen might have had him had him some uh, jersey and maybe an arm. Granted, the guy kind of flopped too yeah. after it happened. Yeah, but. he did. He kind of flailed. But I'll tell you what, though, that's the reason Galen's been playing professional basketball for about 25 years now. <laughs> Uh, he's a wily veteran. He knows what he's doing. Uh, but uh, uh, he's got all the little nicks and knacks down of uh, getting a, a, an advantage. And this was Galen's best ball game so far uh, overall. Uh, he really, because what Galen, I'll tell you what, what Galen's been doing lately, he's he's kind of been too unselfish and he's turned the ball over a lot, especially mm -hmm. at Oklahoma. Uh, 
I felt that his unselfishness actually kind of hurt us in situations. But tonight, or the other night, he actually played really well. He, all, all around game, he really gave us a, a big lift. And I tell you what, that was a heck of a, a steal. Uh, <laughs> you know, he might, he, we might need to call him the maniac mugger now instead of Joe <laughs> Buck. But we got that layup. And, and uh, again, Albany didn't have any timeouts. So they were kind of, they didn't know what to do. They're kind of erratic right. for that right. last six seconds. Right. All right, well, Coach. Well, that will do it for the first quarter of the Coach Keithley Show. When we come back, we'll visit with the East Kentucky mascot, Hardhat Harry. He gives us an exclusive interview.